The results of REGO will have a big impact in different fronts. So liver cancer is seen as a very difficult to treat uh, cancer and lots of physicians, let's say, are nihilistic about why treat software adverse events and so on. When we had sorafenib, this was, let's say, uh, uh, a message that has to be conveyed that the treatment is effective and the adverse events can be managed. Uh, even so, it was, let's say, challenging to have this accepted by some physicians that are more least nihilistic than others. Now we have the benefits of REGO. So now we have the capacity of the patients to benefit first from sorafenib if they manage properly adverse events, dose adjusting, and when there is progression, the patient may shift to regorafenib and have again another significant improvement in survival. So the survival is multiplied first with sorafenib and then multiplied again by, by REGO. This will have an impact in the different things. First, for the patients, great, big news. For the clinical practice guidelines, we will have to update the clinical practice guidelines and hopefully the, 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 the results are so positive that the agencies will approve uh, uh, the indication. It will represent also a, a, a thrill in the field that now was a bit depressed because all the trials have failed. So there are lots of trials that have not got positive results, both in second and, and third and, 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 th and phase three. Uh, and now we have something that is positive. Only two have been positive of the trials, sorafenib and regorafenib. And the situation was a bit pessimistic. So now it will be optimistic again, more research, more developments. 